The first eight squares were getting you ready to conduct your study. You worked your way from a theory to a totally planned experiment. You have everything you need, except permission. Everyone has a boss. There's always someone you report to. In research, you need the permission of fellow researchers to proceed. Every university has an IRB, Institutional Review Board. The makeup varies with the institution, but the process is the same. When you're ready to do a study of any kind, you write up a proposal and submit it for the board's approval. An IRB can be a pain in the neck, but it's good to have. It protects you from making costly or stupid mistakes, and it assures the ethical treatment of subjects, human and non-human. Your submission to the board is a formal proposal. It is a major undertaking, but not wasted effort. You'll use most of your proposal when you write your final research report. When reading a journal article or research report, you'll find an abstract in four major sections. In order of reading, there's an abstract, 100 to 150 word summary of the study, an introduction, a method section, a results section, and a discussion section. The abstract is presented first, but written last. It is a summary of the entire study, so you can't write an abstract until everything is complete. The introduction is the first major section of the report. It doesn't have a title, Introduction, but it introduces what others have done in the past, what you hope to find, and why you hope to find it. In other words, the introduction is a write-up of the literature review you completed in Square 2. The Methods section is a write-up of all the other steps. It specifies how you're going to measure the variables, which procedures you're going to do, what instructions you'll give the subject, and every detail of how you'll conduct your study. So submitting your proposal to an IRB forces you to get these two major sections written. The committee will have at hand why you want to conduct your study and how you propose to do it. Such attention to detail helps eliminate unethical studies or mistreatment of research subjects. For animal studies, the committee can see where you're going to house the animals, what you're going to feed them, and how you're going to care for them and they will know if the animals will be harmed or sacrificed. More importantly, they will know why. Your rationale for everything you plan to do is in your proposal, and every detail will be examined, questioned, and considered. If you can't make the case for doing a study to your IRB committee, you won't be able to justify it to other researchers either. If the IRB doesn't approve the study, you have to resubmit a modified proposal or abandon the project completely. In Square 9, you summarize your progress and get permission of the institution to continue. In Square 10, you get your lab ready.